Got the best kids, but I just can't get enough. I was best in starving just to save it up. Made it happen, dripping with my CPU up. Keep the pecking, bet that we gon' double up. Alright, now let's show you how we did that effect. Putting the video inside the watch and how we did kind of like that retro TV uh, look. So first you want to start your new composition in After Effects to create the, the retro TV look. Don't worry, it's After Effects, but this is going to be simple. Uh, so you create that. Make sure you bring in the clip that you want to do that in inside like the watch. And then you would unlink the attributes of the height and and, uh, and width. Uh, make sure everything's you know fits the frame. And uh, you press the clock. And the first frame will be height 100, width 0. And then you go five seconds later, and the width will then be like one. And then you go five more seconds further and that'll be a hundred and then the two the first two uh, keys or points or whatever you would do ease in and then if you're doing vice versa turning off the TV you, you do the exact same thing but on the last two and that's basically how you do the retro TV look now if you want to do like a, how I had that shine effect I like that gold shine you would need trap code particularly to do that exact thing, but you can get some, something close to that using a couple different types of blurs, which I will show you here in a second. Also, if you want to do those other blurs, you'd uh, want a, a duplicate of what we just created. And you would adjust that accordingly. Now let's get to the Premiere Pro aspect. This, um, if you know a good chunk about Premiere Pro, this, you might already know how to do this, but basically, let's, in this case it was a picture of a watch. You would create two layers of this. Uh, the top layer you would put a mask on and adjust accordingly to around the watch, and then invert that. And having two of those layers, the bottom layer would be what it would transition back into. So whatever was in the middle would appear on the watch per se like this retro TV thing and once the TV turned off you'd go back to the watch and um, you would all adjust you know the direction of where you want exactly in the watch like someone's face or whatnot uh, and that's how you do that effect. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Pretty, pretty.